Hi, I'm Ron. And I have a shop-made fixture that cost me about $40 to put together from parts from the hardware store that may really help you in your production. Currently, I'm doing a remodel which required me to install a little over 1,700 feet of nailed down tongue and groove pre-finished red oak. Most of the material goes down by taking it out of the box using proper installation techniques and nailing it down. But the starter board and the finish board need to be cut to length. So I had my bench set up on the job and I would just bring it over, make the cut, go back and do the install. I had the vacuum system hooked up to the Festool vacuum so it automatically comes on and sucks away most of the dust. The homeowners are living downstairs so I want to keep the job clean and as dust free as possible. So that was very efficient. The problem would come when I would need, when I would get to a, a wall, an intersecting wall, that I would need to rip down the flooring as well as cut it to length. And then I'd need to use the table saw and the miter saw. So I would come over to the saw, make the cut, make the rip, move the hose over, and do the, the next cut. Um, took a bit of time, but that's the way I finished the job. Additionally, with the, this particular job, the corners, the drywall corners are round, and so when the hardwood would come up to a wall and I would uh, need to not only rip it near the wall for you know, proper fit, but then part of it would go around the corner, so I would need to do a, a small cross cut, a rip, and then finish making a, a slight radius by hand with the jigsaw, so I'd end up using three tools to do that one cut. And so I'd end up moving the hose around uh, for each of those, again, keeping the job as dusty as possible. I finished the uh, hardwood, it turned out beautiful. But when I left there, I realized I'd spent a lot of time uh, in fabricating those pieces of wood by just moving the, uh, the hose around and decided there had to be a better way. So I went to the hardware store. First off, uh, these blast gates, these are, are inexpensive. They're about $4.50 a piece. Um, you can get these online. You're not going to find these at your, at your local hardware store. Uh, they are sized to work with standard shop vac um, uh, hose sizes, fitting sizes. They'll work with the Festool, with shop vac, with fine. They're all, they all use a, a common size for connecting. So again, these are about $4.50 a piece and, and I believe Rockler may have them. You can get them I, maybe from Grizzly, but just you know, shop online for you know, these just little PVC or plastic uh, blast gates. So the other part I needed though was to create this manifold, this triple manifold, so that I could plug three tools in and then open and close the blast gates uh, for each tool as I was using it. And there is no plumbing fixtures um, that fit, not an ABS, not in PVC, that fit this exact size. So the first thing I did was just figure out what parts I needed. So I, f I found this uh, cross that allowed me to um, put a fitting on either side as well as one straight through and then connect it back to the vacuum. And then the other thing I needed to do was have the pipe that uh, would interface with the shop back size and plug into the vacuum, which they don't make. So I just sanded this edge down and I'll show you how I did that in a minute so that it would plug in. This, just, this end just plugs in and stays in firm. These are all glued together. So this is ready to stay in, stay in one piece and when I get to the job, I just plug it into the vacuum. So when I get to the job after I have the bench set up and the tools placed, I just take this manifold and just it just friction fits in just like a hose would in the same location. And then the other part I needed was I needed to be able to plug in all three tools at once so that I would not have to move the cord in and out of the vacuum. I'm not adding any draw to the vacuum more than running one tool. I'm just allowing three to be plugged in at the same time since I'm only turning on one tool at a time. Vacuum. And then the vacuum is set to automatic. And once it's set up, the only thing I have to do from this point on is just open the appropriate blast gates to keep full suction going to the tool I'm using at that time. Now because the miter saw is on the far side and I have to come all around, I would just leave this one open. And then when I would come to this side to use the table saw or 
the jigsaw, then I could close this one and open the blast gate for the tool I'm using. And from there on, it's automatic, just like you're using a single tool. Uh, manifold was again to just get the plumbing pieces there's only three fittings the cross fitting and two uh, 45s now I could have used 90s but I wanted to keep the flow as unrestricted as possible and that gives me nice room for these I could have straightened them all out with 90s and you certainly could do that if you do you want to use a longer sweep 90 not a tight 90 because that'll restrict the um, the suction or the airflow and then to connect the um, two 45s into the cross section, you just use a two inch piece of the standard um, PVC pipe that's, that's sized to fit the two inch fittings. Now this is a little bit thicker wall, it's about an eighth inch thick, and you wanna get the thicker wall, not the thin wall, because you're gonna be grinding away and that gives you a little more meat. So, to, to connect the, uh, the two 45s, you just cut a two inch piece, no grinding, and then use standard PVC cement and plug those together and that'll give you this section. Now I wanna connect the three blast gates to the um, non, you know, which are non-standard for the plumbing uh, and I'll need to grind the pipe to do that. So that, that means three fittings or three pieces of pipe that I'll have to grind one end. So one side of the pipe will stay the standard to go into the plumbing fitting. And then the other end I'll grind uh, just by hand on the belt sander until it fits. So I'll grind, test fit, grind, test fit until it fits. And then I'll flip it over. I started with a two foot section and you see I have about a foot left over, but it's nice to have the extra. It's not expensive. It's nice to have the extra to, to do the grinding. So I would uh, grind one end and then grind the other end, then measure in two and a half inches on both ends, go to the miter saw and just cut it on there, just rotate it a little bit and you'll cut cleanly through that and that'll give you two sections to take care of two of the blast gates. And then with the pipe that's left over, come back, grind both ends. And then again, two and a half inches in, that'll give you your third blast gate. And finally, the fourth piece will go in to the um, input side of your manifold and this is ground to fit uh, right into your shop vac or your Festool um, vacuum or your fine or whatever brand you have. And the way I, I grind it, again it's by hand, it's just uh, you, you just grind it and then test fit it and then grind it. So I just use my belt sander, there's plastic residue so it helps to um, have the vacuum on this as well. <laughs> I just keep grinding away and test fit, grind, test fit. And I came in about an inch and then I also took a little bit more off the outside edge just so that it's beveled in a bit so it fits in nicer. But uh, again, grinding in about an inch and then the final piece you cut to about two and a half inches and that'll give you a nice uh, fitting so it'll, you can glue it all together and have um, a nice solid manifold. Again, I went to the hardware store and I think uh, counting um, about $17 or so for these three uh, plus the plumbing parts I bought plus the glue and then the triple tap electrical, I think you'll be in for under $40. So hopefully this, uh, this little uh, contraption, this little manifold will be handy for you and helping you increase your productivity. Thanks for taking the time to watch.